Hey guys, my name is Michaela Jessen. I came from a very small town. I moved to a different city when I was 17. I actually ended up going to massage school and, well, let's just say that I ended up not doing anything with that. Um, I had my first kid at 19. I now, fast forward, have um, four kids of my own, two stepsons, um, so yes, I'm a boy mom, a busy, busy boy mom. I absolutely love cooking, baking, um, traveling, fishing, hunting. Uh, I guess as a boy mom, it's probably a good thing that I love to do all those things because we all know boys eat a lot and we love to hunt and fish. I actually own a cleaning business, um, which kind of just fell into my hands. I didn't really know what I wanted to do after I had my third kid and I ended up just cleaning a hair salon for the girl that did my hair so I could do trades because let's be real, I mean, hair and everything is really expensive. So I was doing trades for that and then I just got referred to several other people and then I just kind of have grown from there. <clears throat> um, my typical daily routine is pretty crazy with this many kids. So I usually get up at six in the morning, I do lunches, um, I get myself ready, I try to roll my kids out of bed, which is not always the easiest. Um, we head to school, I usually go to work. I try to be done with my work day, typically around three, so I can go pick up my kids. I will say that's one perk of owning your own business is you can make your own hours uh, with this many kids. I don't think I could do a typical nine to five job. I would probably pull all my hair out and they would probably fire me for as many times as my kids get sick and I have to go pick them up. Um, I go home, I cook dinner, and then typically we do bath time, a bedtime routine, read books. Um, it's been really hard to try to actually get a gym routine down with having this many kids and all the things that comes with it. So I typically go in the evening and actually work out and then go clean a business after that. Gosh, my passions, definitely, I'm very passionate about um, my kids. I never in a million years thought I would probably have this many kids, but uh, they are my entire world. I don't think I would enjoy life if I didn't have this many boys or kids in general. I have some favorite things that I like to do in my cleaning days. I love murder podcasts. I don't know what it is. It also keeps me on edge and freaked out the whole time I'm cleaning alone. Um, nothing worse than me cleaning alone somewhere and I'm listening to a murder podcast and I think somebody is probably coming to kill me. That's great. Uh, I have some cleaning clients that have absolutely loved scaring the out of me while I'm cleaning. Uh, I guess it keeps me on my toes and young. I absolutely love Hallmark movies. That's like one of my favorite things during winter is to sit and binge watch all the Hallmark movies. Like I think I've gone through all of them and I can't find any more. So I'm pretty sad about that. I absolutely love summertime. Gosh, I actually really need to move somewhere warm because I can't do winter. Here in Montana, winters are absolutely freezing and we actually haven't got any snow this winter, which is really weird. So it's just been freezing cold and nothing to do. It's great. I buy my kids all the things for outdoor snowboards, sleds, snowman stuff, and we can't do any of it. Um, I absolutely love music. Depending on my mood, I would definitely say that I have like the weirdest variety of music. People always laugh at me because I love old country, the new country, then I love some old rap, but I really like the new rap. I like the country rap. I, I'm like all over the place. It just depends on my mood, which is kind of funny. Um, I'm hoping someday that I get to travel. I have not done a ton of traveling. I've gone to Mexico, Florida, the Bahamas. Um, Gosh, that's like really it other than Alaska when I was little. Um, I do the like soccer mom stuff, so I get to travel a little bit for that. I have had a lot of challenges. I would definitely say after having kids, I've had a hard time figuring out where I fit. Like 
I don't know if any of you moms have struggled with that, but when you have kids, your whole entire world is kids, kids, kids. And it's so hard to slow down and figure out like, what in the hell am I supposed to do with my life? Like, what is my purpose? So I think when I started my cleaning business, it was like a sense of something that was my own and something for me to focus on aside from just being like a helicopter mom and <laughs> hovering over my kids. It was something else that I could grow and put my other energy into. So that's been really hard challenge for me. So I'm hoping in the next year or two, I can really get out of my shell of being just mom and inspire other people and do some things that really are passionate to me, like my cleaning business. Um, I do like a whole variety with my cleaning business. I do Airbnbs, commercial, construction, um, private homes, businesses so I have a whole variety and I just have so many ideas and I want to grow it so I think that's going to be my goal for 2024 would be to definitely grow my business and help other moms that are struggling to kind of do the same thing and grow on their own and figure themselves out um I also am hoping to move sometime in the future that would be great because snow is not for me and cold is not for me so in summary, and all of that with, oh my gosh, okay, that was terrible. Uh, hopefully you guys can learn some, oh my gosh, why am I so terrible at this? <laughs> learn some tick tricks and, wow, I can't talk today. Holy Jesus. <laughs> Never going to get this done. Okay, guys, in summary, my channel is going to be based around my daily life as a mom and a business owner. So hopefully you guys can learn some tips and tricks along the way, but I'm super excited to share with you guys everything that I do in a day and watching me overcome all of my challenges. Um, hopefully you guys love it and hopefully it can help you out.